time. Point yourself in the direction of Horizon and put your foot down. Fred to the festival wins. So let's go. Yo, this is sick. Got the chase in in front of us. Don't sweat it. The Jets aren't in the race. They just happen to be here. This is mad. Look at the houses. Hell, graphics are amazing. Oh, what the Ferrari awesome FXK. There too. The most incredible hypercars are all here. I can see a Centenario. Ferrari FXXK. And a beautiful Bugatti Chiron. And is that a Vulcan? Oh, Horizon, you do not want to miss out on watching this. Look at that Senna go. I mean, the car, sure, but someone's got to be handling that thing. Final straight. I can't breathe. I'm lost of words, especially using the wheel as well. I'm guessing there's only one Horizon Festival. Let me know in the comment section what's your thoughts on that. Quite a show. I try my best. Is everyone here? Yep, all here, boss. Ready and raring. Great. Okay, do we have G here? Yes, G is here. All right, so which character should we pick? Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kira, director of the festival. Looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts. This one might have a real chance of taking a spot on the roster. Rebecca's one of our former champions. She's giving me a hand running the Horizon Road Racing Series. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. Right then, let's get you behind the wheel. Which one will it be? Guys, you know which car it's going to be. It's not going to be the Focus. It's not going to be the TT. It's going to be the Dodge Charger RT. Oh my word, yes. You and I are going to get along. I can tell. When I played the demo, I picked the Ford Focus RS. So this is my first time as well, picking the Dodge Charger. All right, let's get you set up with a personalized number plate. Go on, be creative. I had the wheel felt so much better than compared to like Forza Horizon 3. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. I expect you'll want to get a feel for your new car. So I've signed you up to some events to get you started. See you there. Nice, let's go to the first event. But first, let's have a look at the map. The map is pretty damn cool. Not sure if we can go there. Let's see. This is Edinburgh. Look at these roads, man. When it comes to like my driving like a boss videos, it's gonna be sick. There's a drag strip. Look at these roads here, man. Tokyo Drift Star down here. We've got the highway here. Well, as we call it in England, motorway. Alright, so let's go to our first race. Wait, first, before we go to the street race, I'm gonna rip it. Uh, first, let's change the settings. Gonna have to change the settings first. This is on automatic. Alright, these are the settings that I'm gonna be running just for today's video. And I will let you know, I'll keep you updated. If I change the settings, so force feedback scale at 90, sent in the spring 100, wheel damper. I'm gonna just drop that, even the vibration. Yeah, that should be good to go. Oh, yeah, the sound of that. Ripping it. Oh, yeah. It's safe to do so. The 
PC sick. Ooh. I've just realised, like, watch this now. See how the wheel spins it locked. In Forza Horizon 3, that never happened. Turn around when it is safe to do so. so I'm just letting it spin when I when I turn. But that's how it should be. See that I've just let it spin. They've improved on the rule setting. 200 meters, you will arrive at your destination. So let's get to the street racing again. You have arrived at your destination. Should we drift it? Nah. Oh, oh, oh! Coming through. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut through, sorry, bro. Oh! Now the wheel setting is sick, like, it has definitely improved from Forza Horizon 3. But like, when the wheel slides, when it locks, when you just let it turn by itself, that was a must, to be honest, because in Forza Horizon 3, I had to flick it all the time. I'm guessing that's probably new for some people as well, so just practice as well. I'm cutting through, cutting through, come on to get first position. Third position, come on. But never lost that turn. Would have came first, I guess. Even second. But third would do. Look at him dancing, bro. Look at him go. Look at him with the shades, everything. Alright, 12,000 credits. That's alright. You might not have won, but I can already see you've got great potential. Keep at it, and I'll see that you're invited to the next round of the series. Hello, I'm Anna. Yes, Anna. Your automated natural navigation assistant. I'll help you explore the festival and find activities throughout the UK. Okay, G. I have plotted your route to a new race in the Horizon Road Racing Series. Yo, I'm ripping it down here. This is so oh my graphics as well. This next level, this is the settings that I've got now on the, on the wheel. I would never have it on Forza Horizon 3, but it is damn good, you know. Like, I know the force feedback's not the best, but as you know, it's not a simulation game, so they, they will. I reckon they will do an update on it if they've got to. But man, my overall experience on this, I'm I'm loving it, man. So we're going to another race. 
Let's do this. Another street race. Now this time we're going to go first position, man. No third, no second, straight first. Backhand's coming out. Let me keep it clean. Trying to keep it clean here. Gonna cut through, gonna cut through. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, messed up on the gear. Cutting through, bro. Watch out, G2 fast is behind. Oh, oh, damn, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Don't judge my driving, guys. Ah, uh, gonna have to drift it on this. The loss of words. I don't know what to say. The game is just sick. Especially using the wheel. So much fun. I've been using the pad controller. When you got the wheel, you got a whole different experience. Gonna drift it around here. In third gear. Third gear. First position. Force feedback, it has definitely improved from Forza Horizon 3. I've seen other comments, but if you if I use these same settings on Forza Horizon 3, and like with the lock, you can turn it as I mentioned before, which was a must because I had to flick it in Forza Horizon 3 all the time. But that's how it should be. The wheel you should just let it turn when it comes to drifting. Wow, you really are the image of Frankie Beaumont. Sorry. Joel Carter, Horizon Driver Relations. Now, do I have an opportunity for you? There's a movie shooting nearby that's in need of a stunt driver. Short notice, I know, but what do you say? Meet me here ASAP, and I'll introduce you to Mike Steele. He's a stunt coordinator for the movie. Right, let's go to the uh, stunt event. Chapter 1. meters turn left turn left Ma, I just love it when he just spins around now like when you just hit the e-brake and just let it turn the wheel by itself it's such a satisfying feeling Scenery is just amazing. Like with Forza Horizon 3, it was just like straight, like flat roads. But like with this now, like you've got lots of bends, uphills, downhills, and it gives the wheel so much right. different experience as well. You've got to keep it in control when you're going like uphill, downhill, humps, potholes. Turn left. Right, so we're pulling up to the uh, first stunt driver event. Here they are. 
future star of the silver screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like twins. <sighs> You'll do. Mike Steele, by the way. Today's shoot's a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We got everything set up there. The kid better be as good as you say. So, we in the Bugatti Shield run. This is our first stunt driving mission. I've changed the transmission to paddle shifters. And the car looks amazing and sounds amazing as well. Done a, such a great job on Forza Horizon 4. Definitely need a steering wheel in this game. It's got such an amazing feel. So I'm going to be doing another giveaway and I'll be picking someone that will be getting their hands on a Logitech G920 driving force wheel and a copy of the Forza Horizon 4 game. All you've got to do is hashtag Logitech G920 in the comment section and follow my Instagram page which is G2Fast where I'll be announcing the winner. You made it. So we're doing the mission that now. That was quick. Uh, right, let's get everything set up. You're going in at the deep end, but at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. If you're as good as Joel says, this should be no trouble. Hey, remember to breathe, kid. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it, you'll be fine. All right, so let's turn this radio off. Get left, but keep your foot down. Yo, you pursuit vehicle. Yeah, the baddies in a jet plane. So what? You just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. And the baddies overshot you, and your hero is safe for now. Good. This is all good stuff. Don't relax, kid. We're not done. Keep it loose and fast up the hill, then back down. Still got the jump to do. Oh, all right. We've still got a jump. The road's blocked off ahead, so you're going to cut across the field. All right. They'll add something One more turn. Crashed alien ship or something. It's all marked out for camera coverage, okay? You just line it up, floor it. All right, here's a jump. Pray. These hey, stunt driving nice missions are the sick. Try to look heroic. And that, that is chapter is one wrap, complete. Everyone. Congratulations, kid. You survived. Reckon you can do that again? Yeah, of course. I'll give you a number to casting. Call you if there's another job. So guys, if you enjoyed the first walkthrough of Forza Horizon 4, I want to see a part two. Smash a thousand likes on this video and I will be giving you a part two.